In this video, we're going to demonstrate configuring the stress level column in ControlUp. The stress level indicator can be a very useful dashboard tool for the ControlUp admin. Let's see how it's put together. First, let's look at the stress level column itself in the main grid. It looks like a basic low, medium, high indicator, but there are a lot of statistics that come together to create it. If you click on the box itself, when the stress level is higher than none, there is a small arrow in the upper right corner. Click the arrow, and a small window pops up that explains exactly what created the stress condition. In this case, we see that memory utilization is responsible for the stress level with a weight of 2, and the total of all weights is in the lower left corner. This is the actual number that the stress level is based on. Let's click Settings to explore this more thoroughly. You can also get to the Stress Settings window from the Settings ribbon by clicking Stress Settings. The overall stress setting is derived from real-time performance counters. You can see the performance counter list in the middle of the screen here. Note that each view and each object type has its own set of counters that control up monitors. In addition, computers and sessions can differentiate between different kinds of computers and sessions, so you can make different definitions for computer stress, depending if the computer is a server or a workstation or a terminal server. Each counter has a yellow warning and a red error threshold that can have a qualifying time frame, as well as a load or weight that you define as its contribution to the overall stress level. Severity by tells ControlUp which method it should use to calculate the level. If the value of a performance counter cannot be retrieved for any reason, NA is shown in the grid and the color of the column will change according to the setting here. Let's look at the CPU counter to demonstrate this. Let's select the VMware View folder and click on the CPU counter. Note that we are now editing the stress level configuration for this specific folder. At the bottom of the middle column we see a short description of the counter. By default, the CPU utilization is calculated as an average in ControlUp's history. Let's reconfigure this column to change immediately when CPU utilization rises without waiting for the historical average to increase. This can be achieved by unchecking Inherit Default Settings and then switching the Severity By option to Current Value. CPU activity is important to us, so let's also raise the load weight to 2 and 4, respectively. Click Apply to save the changes. Using this method, we can go through all of the available performance counters to customize their contribution to the overall stress level as is appropriate to our environment. Every place we change a default, a blue circle with an eye will appear to let us know a non-default setting is there. For example, after applying the settings, we now see a blue eye on the folder where we customize the stress level as well as on the computer's view. So how many counters have to cross thresholds in order for the overall stress level to change? That is the goal of the stress levels box in the lower left corner. This defines the overall load number that has to be reached in order for a computer to be considered to have reached that particular stress level. Remember the total weight number we saw at the beginning of the video in the pop-up window. Going back to our example, I consider the CPU utilization important, which is why I raised the stress setting for that counter, but I don't want the computer to go to high stress levels just based on CPU activity alone. So first I uncheck the default configurations checkbox in order to customize the settings. A busy CPU is enough for me to raise the stress to low, but I want to see more than just a busy CPU to raise the stress level higher, even if the CPU crosses the red threshold. So let's set low to 2 and medium to 6. Notice that the higher levels automatically adjust to 6, which makes sense because you can't have lower numbers for higher stress levels. We'll increase high and critical by two each. Click Apply to save the settings. Again, all of these settings can also be applied independently to folders, sessions, and processes as well. 
Now let's switch to the remote desktop pane and generate some CPU load and then we'll switch back to the My Organization pane and see the results. As you can see, the stress level has raised. The details show us the reason for the current level along with a list of the performance counters responsible for the stress. Note the total weight, which is the sum of the stress factors. CPU, memory utilization, and average disk write time all combine to a weight of 7, which is sufficient to bring it to the medium stress level. In Control Up, stress level can be used to produce alerts and record incidents for later analysis, which we'll demonstrate in another video. For more information on configuring and optimizing Control Up for your environment, please refer to the online documentation at www.smartx.com. Thank you for watching.